Of all the Christmas tree ornaments turned out that year, and very long ago, only one had a happiness. His name was Noel, and at the very moment he was created, old Herman, the glassblower, received truly joyous news. Elise, his only daughter, had just given birth to a baby girl. He was a grandpa at last. And being quite emotional for a glassblower, Herman cried for pure joy. It was Noel's good fortune that that one merry tear became part of him. Yes, Herman's tear of joy had become Noel's happiness. I wonder what the world will hold for me. I couldn't care less. Gosh, you're pretty. It's not proper to speak until we have been introduced. Oh, well, who are you? You don't know. I am Miss Frizenda, the Ice Maiden, if you please. I am a very unusual and precious ornament. <laughs> I'm just Noel, but I have a happiness. How terribly middle class. <laughs> Finally, Noel and Miss Frizenda were placed with ten other ornaments into a cardboard box. All of them together were something called a dozen. We in the box thing, stupid. Each in our own little compartment. But we can't see each other this way. I rather enjoy that. Not me. You're a pest. But what about the others? I couldn't care less. Hi, my name is Noel, and I have a happiness. Quiet. Oh, come on, and we're trying to sleep. Yeah, we have a little piece. And who's making all that racket? Then the box that held the dozen was delivered to a truly magical place. The afternoon of Christmas Eve in a five and ten cent store. Back in those days, that was the only place some folks could afford to be married. Somebody, please shut that greenhorn up. Hey, what are those big things walking around? Don't shout. They are called people things. Some of them are littler. Oh, honestly, they are children things. I like the children things. It figures you would. Look respectable, Noel. We are a thing called for sale. And we want to be a thing called bought. Finally, one of the people things, Noelle found out she was a thing called a mother, bought the dozen and brought them home. Look at this beauty! Cost 50 cents down at Smitty's Coal Yard, but... Oh, darling, it's worth every penny. And look at these. Hey, they're swell! Ah, Merry Christmas, dear. Psst, Miss Frizenda. Don't ask. We are in a thing called a home. What's a home thing? A people thing's box. <laughs> a children thing. <laughs> Go on the tree. Oh. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> That's not a good idea, honey. Now, come on, all of you. It's time for dinner. Gotta wash her hands. Already washed. Wash them again. Why? Santa's watching. Yeah, everything counts with Santa. She loves me. Noel looked up at his stately evergreen, whose mighty branches were like great strong arms. Hi, my name is Noel, and I have a happiness. Wonderful. My name is Brutus. Glad to know you. Kindly Brutus became Noel's first friend. He was very patient. He didn't mind answering any of Noel's thousand and one questions. What's happening now, Brutus? It's become a thing called Christmas Eve. The reason you were made and I was born. It feels like magic. When the children things were tucked into a thing called bed, the people things came back downstairs and went to work. Here's a good spot for you, little fella. I get it. What a neat idea. Hey, look at me. Oh, Noel, please shut up. After the dozen, along with several other dozens, were hung under Brutus's strong arms. All right, dear. Plug them in. Noel met the Mazda sisters, a delightful, if slightly world-weary bunch. <laughs> yeah. My name's Noel, and I have a happiness. Hi, Noel. Sweetie. <laughs> she winked at me. Then, of course, there was the tinsel plan. A flighty group, but very necessary. Then, under Brutus's lower arms, were placed many colorful boxes tied with bright and fancy ribbons. And around all this, the father thing placed a toy electric train named McIves, which he'd owned woo, since he was woo, a child. Woo. Season's greeting, season's greeting, season's greeting, season's greeting. Hi, McIves. My name is Noel, and I have a happiness. Can't talk, can't talk, can't talk, can't talk. Why can't you talk? Busy! Brutus, what's old McIves so busy about? He's trying to catch his tail. Why? Don't know. But it seems very important for toy electric trains to catch their tails. Darling? And then, a special place was made for one final thing to be lovingly placed under Brutus. What's that down there, Brutus? I can't see inside. Just a little toy stable. But why would they have a toy stable? Well, Noel, somehow that little stable is the thing that tonight is all about. Then finally, with that weary wonder that only parent things can know on Christmas Eve, they realized the job was finished. As they'd done every year, and as their parents had done before them, they had taken holiday trinkets and made Christmas magic. Huh? Mm. What's this I feel now? It's so lovely. It's a thing called peace and goodwill. You're quite remarkable to be able to feel it. Usually it's reserved for the people things and animals, and sometimes us trees. I guess, maybe, it's because I have a happiness. <laughs> I guess maybe it is. Hours passed, but it seemed only an instant. For suddenly, 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 it was the thing called Christmas morning. The world got brighter and brighter and happier and happier. Yay! <laughs> I got my teddy bear! Oh, it was a wonderful time. There were toys and there was laughter. And presents were exchanged, and there was laughter. And loved ones visited, and there was laughter. And even more presents were opened, and there was even more laughter. McIves ran around his track. Greetings, 
season three, season three, season three. There was laughter. <laughs> and good things were eaten, and there was laughter. And good kisses were kissed. And then, to top everything off, there was more laughter. It was a wonderful time, which went on for seven whole day and night things. But then it became a terrible thing called January 2nd. Back to normal. Huh. They're gonna put us in that old dark box again, Brutus. Why? Because... It's all over. He's not gonna get me. I won't go. Uh-oh. <coughs> Goodbye, little fellow. Goodbye. Keep that happiness of yours. Never lose it. Noel never saw Brutus again. the dozen were put into a high, dusty, dark thing called an attic, where they became a thing called forgotten. But as it always does, the thing called time moved relentlessly from season to season, and it became a thing called spring, then a thing called summer. And eventually, it was a thing called autumn, a time for pumpkins and turkeys. Then came that truly glorious day when the first snow of the year fell. Then, then finally. Hey, it's back again. The good thing. The wonderful, beautiful, Christmasful thing. Time, like the little electric train, had chased its tail around the universe and arrived at Christmas once more. <laughs> There was a new tree named Harold, but almost everything else was the same as the year before. The family, the friends, the Mazda sisters, the tinsel clan, the brightly wrapped packages, the mysterious little stable, and of course... Season's greeting, season's greeting, season's greeting, season's greeting. <laughs> Oh, Noel. <laughs> Phew, thanks. Harold, what's inside that little stable down there? Brutus said it's the thing that Christmas is all about. <laughs> well, I guess Brutus was right. <laughs> <laughs> But it seemed that almost before it started, Christmas was over again. Noel said goodbye to Harold, and the attic thing was his prison once more. And in this way, year followed year, a bittersweet blend of joy and attics. After Harold, there was Bernard. After Bernard, there was Anthony, and Gregory, and Irving, and Jock. But as the years passed, Noel sensed that a subtle change seemed to come over everything. Hey, the children things are getting bigger. Oh, Noel, must you always be so dramatic? They're getting to look almost like the people things. I couldn't care less. <laughs> Indeed, the children things have become people things. Then came the things that changed all things. Things such as graduations, and engagements, and weddings, and war. Then one day, years later, Noel heard something terrible from down below. Oh, what's the use? Kids scattered all over the country with families of their own. Let's not bother with a tree this year. All right, dear. Oh, no! 
No, Christmas! No more Christmas. Good. A vacation at last. And as the long, lonely attic years continued to pass, Noel finally fell into a deep and seemingly endless sleep. It was lucky that he slept, for he missed the thing called heartbreak which visited the house. He missed the things called wills and auctions. He never heard the words. Ah, oh, just leave that junk in the attic. It's of no use. Noel never heard the terrible final sound the lock made as it shut off life and warmth and joy from the old empty house. Leaving it with the ghosts of long ago Christmases which everyone had forgotten. And as the years crept slowly by, the dozen slept on. Like the house, their bright colors faded and chipped. Indeed, everything seemed over. I say seemed over because when you have a happiness, nothing is ever completely gone. And perhaps it was the happiness working its magic. Who knows? <laughs> Got it down at the mall. <laughs> it's worth every penny. Look, I found these old ornaments in the attic. Maybe they'll look pretty with all the new plastic ones. Merry Christmas, honey. What's merry about going back to work? <laughs> Brand new children things. Hey, look at everything. It's Christmas. Not yet tomorrow. Tomorrow's my favorite. Let's play. <laughs> I love you to pieces. <laughs> you. Christmas is not till tomorrow. Now, come on, all of you. It's time for dinner. Nope. These are just too chipped and old to use. Chipped and old? Chipped and old? What does he mean by that? Not pretty, I guess. <laughs> Not pretty? Oh, of all the... Oh, put me on that tree. I insist. Put me on that tree. It's no use. They don't want us. Here comes the lid. Wait. We could use this little fellow to balance out that branch in the back. Goodbye, Miss Frizenda. Goodbye. Gee. She didn't even say goodbye. Seems she's too worried about being chipped and old. Oh, hi. My name is Noel, and I have a happiness. Call me Abraham. Yes, there was a new tree, but all the old friends were back, including... Season's greetings, season's greetings. Hi, Noel! Long time, long time, long time, long time. No see. The little old red ornament. It's broken. But somehow, Noel was still aware. He was on the floor, he knew that. And for the first time, he could look into the tiny stable. Why, there's little toy people things. And a little toy children thing. The thing it's all about. And then there was the thing called a miracle. For now that his old glass body was no more, mm -hmm. the happiness that was really Noel was released. <laughs> My name is Noel, and I have a... No, I am a happiness. And being pure on a double...
adulterated happiness, it could go anywhere. Hey, it's the world thing. The thing called the world. And, and it's Christmas all over the place. Goodbye, old house. There's a lot more of Christmas for me to see. Some spoke different tongues with different ways of life. Some had never even heard of Christmas. <laughs> Who cares? I've got enough happiness for everybody. Whee! The wonder of wonders, little Noel would become the pure joy of Christmas. And he would live on forever 